November is upon us, so it's time for another Beta Flight release. Hold your horses, this is not Beta Flight 4.3 yet. This is just the November maintenance release called Beta Flight 4.2.11, and as part of this release, we have a couple of bug fixes and zero new features. First of all, it solves the problem of not working burst D shot in some of the hardware configurations. The symptoms were really simple. If you flash the previous release, 4.2.10, some of your motors might not be working. This release fixes this problem and as far as we are aware, there are no more problems with the D-Shot in the beta flight right now. Second of all, it fixes the not working analog to digital converters on the H7 CPUs and as well fixes the names of the H743 boards. And finally, it fixes two issues with the CRSF protocol. A. Wrongly reported YO values and MSP over Crossfire protocol. The rest of the changes are really the minor stuff. The question, should you upgrade to the 4.2.11? And the answer is... If your drone is working absolutely no problem on the previous release of 4.2.11, beta flight family, there is no way for you to update. If however you are one of those very few that has problems with not working motors on the beta flight 4.2.10, then yes, definitely yes. Also if you are H7 user and in your case the voltage or current or RSSI, analog RSSI reporting is not working, then the 4.2.11 is for you. In every other case, when you are not facing any of the bugs I just described, there is not really a need to upgrade because 4.2.11 is not bringing any feature or flight improvements. Your quad will not fly better, will not fly worse, it will just fly the same as long, of course, if you had no problems with motors. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and happy flying!